YouTube, it's Aisha Antoinette, and I'm just coming on to follow up on my previous video. I've just pre-pooed a little bit with the Shea Moisture Deep Treatment Mask, and my hair still is refusing to revert all the way back to its curls. So what I'm going to do now is um, wash it, like I said I was going to do in the last video. And then I'm going to come back and show you if, by being dumped in the water again, any uh, any change has taken place. I'm Aisha Antoinette. This is the Reversion Files. Hey YouTube, I'm back and I just finished washing my hair. And this, we are on a reversion journey. And this looks about right. <laughs> This looks about how my hair should look after I'm done washing it. However, this doesn't. So I'm gonna go ahead and claim it. Um, I believe there's heat damage to the front of my hair. Um, just the front. And maybe the heat was on too high. Um, the heat was on too high on the flat iron um, when my stylist was doing my hair. Um, cause I know that in the front of my hair, the hair is finer, um, the front and the back. Um, this here though, in the crown, it's able to take it. <laughs> it's able to take it. So <sighs> I think that's what happened. Um, I washed my hair using the Shea Moisture Deep Cleansing Shampoo. And then I used some of this row. I was put onto this by a friend on Facebook. Um, she actually sent this to me. It's supposed to, it's a porosity control corrector and conditioner. It's supposed to sh instantly strengthen your hair by 34%. <laughs> no, so I use that. Um, now what I'm gonna do is use my Basque Coco Bark deep conditioning. And so I'm gonna put this in here and Probably leave it on for half an hour, 45 minutes. This is how it looks. It looks a little like clay. And as I told you before with my product, there is really no set way <laughs> that I put this thing to my hair. Mm, it smells like chocolate, so good. <laughs> There's no set way that I, I, I don't part my hair and, you know, I just slap it in there. So, um, yeah, it's the consistency, like clay, it smells wonderful. And last time I used this, it was so good. Um, had my hair so soft after. So, we're just gonna slap this in here. Let's pay attention to the back which I believe has heat damage too. Uh, let me see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can see that. This is the back. Very, very fine curls. Back here, it starts to get a little thicker, but right at the nape. Yeah. So, um, I don't know what we're gonna do. I mean, as everybody knows, there's no way to repair hair you can't repair hair and i love how they sell you things that says heat repair and things like this no nope. the only way to get rid of damaged hair is to cut it off but we're not doing that with maxine just yet there may be hope for her still uh yep it's still holding there Still just hanging on. <laughs> yeah, so I'm pretty sure that's what happened here. And you know, what are you going to do? You live, you learn. I really liked heat, and I really liked the straight style that was going on there. Uh, but apparently Maxine did not like it. <laughs> so I guess I just have to beware next time. Okay. There we go. I'm going to put this on. And I will see you back in a few.
All right, bye. Hey tubers, I'm back and this is my hair after I washed it and took the deep conditioner out. And this in my hair right now is Trader Joe's Nourish and Spa Conditioner. I live for this. Get it, get it. Every curly girl, get this. I endorse this product. It's only $2.99 and it is the most beautiful thing ever. So it's in my hair right now. Um, I use it to detangle. And so my hair is thoroughly detangled. And it is um, still, there you go, still hanging there. So <laughs> Reversion Chronicles, you know, still going. My hair has turned into 3C4A hair. <laughs> and this, this is what's happened. But um, I'm going to wash this out now. And then introduce you to two new products that I'm going to use to style it. I'm going to do a quick style. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. Hair is washed out. It's dry a little bit. Um, but as we can see here, there you go. Look at the ends that don't curl anymore. You can see them slightly on the ends here. Curl damage. So it looks like Right here is my, my natural fluffiness, but in the fronts, uh, in the front part, that's the damaged hair. Okay, well, this is what we're working with. So, new products that I'm going to use um, are by Blue Rose Beauty. And this first one is this pumpkin puree, and then I have her pumpkin seed hair whip. So, this is hair without any product. And I use the lock method. I'm also going to use peppermint tea tree um, oil from Hidden Spotty Works. So I put a bit of oil in my hair first. After I'm done washing it, then I like to put it right on the front, massage it in a little where I think I'm going, where I'm losing hair. I'm not actually losing hair though. I think that. I'm just paranoid, <laughs> so I like to rub it in a bit, um, all through my hair to hold whatever moisture the conditioner gave me. I like to hold that in, and like I told you guys before, I have no set way of doing my hair. <laughs> I just grab it, part it, and I go. So, well, part it with my hands, that is. Okay. Ooh. The tea tree oil is eye-opening. All right, so let's see this pumpkin puree consistency. It looks creamy. So you guys know what I do. Put a lot of that in there. It smells like pumpkin cinnamon. Mm -hmm. uh, it stays on top for a little while before getting soaked in. Mm -hmm. There goes the consistency on that. The back of my hair. Mm -hmm. That feels good in my hair. And it smells really nice. Um, the thing with leave-ins, and I figure that this is what this is, a leave-in. I feel like my hair can either um, do with do with it or without it. Like, it doesn't feel like it's necessary for me um, to use it. And as you can see, it's kind of sitting on top of my hair, sitting there. So I think it's officially have distributed it through my hair. And that's it. It is in my hair. My hair smells amazingly like pumpkin. So I do like that about it. 
Now what I'm going to do is find my comb first. Oh, there it goes. Um, I went into a style that I've never done before. <laughs> and I saw it, it's kind of like a, it's in a bun, but once you take the hair on the bun, you twist it and then pin it. So it's like a twist bun. Um, I think I may want to leave some hair out because I like having a bang and something in my face. Um, again, I don't do any perfect parts. <laughs> I grab hair and I go. All right, so we'll just take this. Yeah, I'll grab a clip. about it. So we'll use this. So I'm just going to pin it on itself so it doesn't get in the way. There it goes. So that's the hair that I'm going to leave out. This is the hair that I'm going to put up into the bun thingy. So, I'm going to do some of this hair whip. So the consistency on that whip is thick. Oh, it's thick. And shea butter's in here. You know what? The ingredients in this one, organic palm oil is the first ingredient. Then we have virgin pumpkin seed, pumpkin seed butter, um, jojoba butter, kokum butter, bunch of butters, so <laughs> see if all that. Okay. All right, I think it's just a butter. Because, you know, you have things that says wit and butter and things like this, and it's like, you know what product, what What are you really? What What are you really? So I think it's a butter. And that's, it's nice anyway, because it'll seal what I'm about to do. So I'll put it all through my hair. Grab the hair that I'm about to pin up. I'll take my glasses off because I need to get those sides. And I don't mind my sides being curly because my hair is curly. Okay, so I'm gonna bring all that hair up into a ponytail. And I'm gonna use this is actually a headband, but I'm going to use it right now as my ponytail holder. Okay, so I got all that back here. And now I'm going to put it as far on top of my head as I can. I'm not going to put it that tight. I'm not going to. I could probably just leave it as a puff, but I want it to look like something. Okay, and I loosened it up a little bit. All right, so that's it. Um, I actually don't know about um, the ends feel so fragile. Um, due to my little heat damage. Well, let me see. I did have a, a set thing in mind to do, to twist it and pin. But now I'm thinking of changing my mind. Well, let me see. Yeah, you know what? That kind of feels cumbersome and like I'll be here all day. So <laughs> I don't want to be here all day. So my curly puff may just stay this way. I'm gonna fluff it out a little bit. And what's gonna happen to the front of my hair? Um how about this? Thank you guys for being on 
my ex exploration front because I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Um, I'm actually going to add some of the whip to it. I forgot that I didn't. There we go. It has been sufficiently whipped. Uh, her products smell so good. That's what I love. I love um, products that smell amazing. So, okay, it's been whipped. That's what it looks like whipped. My hair kind of looks a little matted here. Okay, that, that's better. Um, so guys, I don't know what I'm going to do with the front of my hair. Uh, I'm going to do something on the spot because I'm on the camera. <laughs> um, I could twist it. Well, my twist is literally just a twist. Up into it. I can do that. And did you know that you put the bobby pin in this way and not that way? Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, that's it. And you know what? I like to take a little <laughs> hair and have it there. It's no fun being a curly girl if you can't do these kind of things. <laughs> Okay, and I think that, that is it. That's it for this edition. Um, I don't know if you can see it that well. Let me try to I don't know if that helped, but that is the style. <laughs> and I'll try to take pictures of it. And I'm going to sleep with a scarf on my head. And then I'm going to refresh it in the morning with um, some spritz that I got in the curl kit, in my last curl kit. And that's it. Peace.